Long beloved. I can't even say how many times I've tried to do this video or something similar. It must be meant to be, or maybe not. I'm not really sure. I tried today and keep getting stopped, but I'm just going to do it. I said a prayer earlier. I said a prayer a few times. All glory to the most high. You know, right now, there's a group trying to rewrite history. They want to be the author. <laughs> the author. But you see, we already got an author. They want to narrate the story to their benefit, if you will. There's an acronym, CRC, CRC, an acronym, beloved, an acronym. But you see, when the Most High gave me that acronym, he changed the order. He calls it cannot remove the truth, cannot remove truth, cannot, beloved, cannot, cannot remove truth. Mm -mm. But you see, that don't mean you don't have people that don't try to try to remove the truth. You got to bear with me if um, the screen is crazy. Just listen to me because this has been a challenge to get this video out that CRT, some people, these others, those deceivers, the tares among the wheat, they want to remove the truth, the narrative of the true history of a people, of an experience. You know, you can do empirical research where we've been right there on the front line, the grunts in the middle of the battlefield getting brutalized and still rising and yet they want to tell the story it's like them harlem hell fighters going in even given bad weapons and manipulated and lied on and yet they was the baddest ones that rolled through even when the tears did everything they could to besmirch them yeah like harlem hell fighters my love you know Hmm. That fake narrator, he want to change the truth of history, particularly ours, so that his who have done it or the descendants and the inhabitants of all it brings don't have their itty bitty with the little feelings hurt. Mm -hmm. I guess Black History Month had to stop unless you tell the good stories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Only the good ones. Yeah, you can't talk about him until no more. Hell, for that matter, you can't talk about George Floyd. It might hurt somebody's feelings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, can't, you can't talk about cops, Van Dyke, who put 16 bullets in Laquan McDonald out of a racist heart. You can't talk about that, so they said. But you see, the author and the finisher said, you cannot remove the truth. Mm. You cannot remove truth. Yeshua said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, sometimes there's truth people don't like, but it, you, if you want to live free, you can't manipulate the truth. Cannot remove truth, beloved. Medical experimentations on men and women. Yes, yes, yes. You, you, you cannot remove the truth. Okay. Housing deprivations, educational miseducation. You cannot remove truth. CRT cannot. He's the author. Who? You think um, the tear? 
mm, mm, mm. Lord, 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 that tear wants to get in there. Yeah, yeah, planted among them baby wheats, trying to act like we all the same. No, we not, because you want to remove the thing you cannot, the truth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. For the word of the Lord is right. And in all his works, and all his works are done in truth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the enemy. The enemy came in and he sold them tears among the wheat. They want to play like they just like you and me. That's why when you look at TV, suddenly it proliferates where you want to tear, you want a relationship with us. Okay, when we go on the movies, if you want to be in the movies, we want you to act like that stereotype. Why? Because we trying to be controlling the narrative. I don't think so. You see, the word of the most high is the author. He's the finisher. Hmm. I got the wheat and the tares on my mind. The wheat and the tares, beloved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got the wheat and the tares. It seems as though the tares want to tell the story of the wheat. They want to tell the story of the wheat, but you got to hush them up. Hush them up. Right? You ain't got that kind of power. Be some lawless thing who your father was a liar and you're a liar too. Okay. We know that scripture, they have inherited lies. Yes, yes, yes. If I got it right, I believe that's Jeremiah 16. I can't pull it all up um, on the screen. Jeremiah 16, surely our fathers have inherited lies. Vanity, hmm, hmm, you got to be about a vain thing to think you can rewrite history and everybody gonna go along with you. Well, just hush up, hush up, tell pretty words, pretty words, that thing you did wasn't purdy. It wasn't purdy. <laughs> and things wherein there is no profit. Let's go back over there. We are Jeremiah 16, 19. Yeah, 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 that other critical race theory, that bull that's coming out of a whole lot of tears. Okay, when we go down in the 1619, what the children gonna say? Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What profit a man to gain the world loses his own soul? Lawless, lawless boys and girls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a judge in Tennessee, Davenport, put away babies in jail, opened up housing for these little kids. Now she going to retire. Why should she be paid for a child abuse? for being a lawless criminal, shouldn't she be in jail? Damn, just a, what do you call those things? We got a lawsuit, I don't want your damn lawsuit. She need to be held accountable for the horror she did to those kids. But she gonna step down. Hmm. You see, trying to be the narrator instead of recognizing what the author and the finisher says about evil. Do no evil and you shall not have to concern yourself with evil being done unto you. She did it to the least of the brothers and sisters. The little kids, Davenport. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a cop who used to be a cop. 16 bullets. He was reloading when, it, when one of the other ones stopped him. He looking out getting out of jail for murder. 39 months, I believe. Man, oh man. Cannot remove truth, okay? You can't narrate God. You cannot. These are tears amidst the wheat, okay? Hmm. I'm going to come down a little bit. We are in the book of Matthew, chapter 13. We're running between verse 24 and verse 30. Okay, as a matter of fact, we are going to go down. Another parable he put forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while he slept, an enemy came mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way poisonous 
useless, treacherous tares. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then it appeared, then appeared the tares also. Hmm. So the servants of the household that came and said unto him, Sir, did not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then come, have come it tares? He said unto them, an enemy. Mm, mm, mm. An enemy. He thought he was going to narrate the situation. An enemy have done this. The servant said unto him, Will thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay. That's why you gather up the tares. You root up also the wheat with them. You see, when the tear is initially growing beside the wheat, it weaves its roots around it, trying to get a grip on it. Hmm, I wonder if anybody right now is trying to get a grip on the story of the wheat, trying to hold on to it, trying to act like if, if we can't bury you, we going to marry you because you did love us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, cannot remove truth, baby, baby. But he said, nay, let's. While you gather up the tares, you root up also the wheat with them. But let them grow together until the harvest. And then time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first. Mm. First the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Now, let's, let's get a look at this. See, because it's telling a story. There's a revelation in there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Spirit of the Lord gave me the revelation. But let them grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares. Hmm. And bind them in bundles to burn them. You know but gather together the wheat into my barn, barn. I remember Noah's Ark being like a great big old barn. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see if I got it right. Hmm. Hmm. Forgive me, you got to bear with me. Now I'm in Matthew 24, 37 through 39. But as the days of Noah were, so shall it be, so also shall be the coming of the son of man. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also be the coming of the son of man. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Who did it take away? You know, you got these people, people talking about the rapture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they got it twisted. You see, we know we in the days of Noah. And you can look at them tears, just like the people in the time of Noah. See, back then it was water. Wash the earth clean of all that pestilence they would bring the enemy. But this time is going to be fire. How do we know? Well, 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 let's take a look at here. Let me get it right. Let me get it right. Let me get it right. Work with me. Work with me. But let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares mm -hmm, and bind them in bundles to burn them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But gather the wheat into my barn. If you think about that ark of Noah's, it was like a floating barn, beloved. It was a barn on water. Yes, yes, yes. And you see, even when you look at cannot remove truth up against some critical race theory crap, okay, you got to look at the fact that I find it funny as Yasharel is being born. You know, we can go back to when uh, the Valley of Dry Bones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And the bones, they coming together. Yes, yes, yes. They were considered dead. They were considered dead. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. 
and caused me to pass by them round about and behold, there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I said, oh Lord, God, thou knowest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, oh, ye dry bones hear the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live and ye shall live. But you see, you got somebody trying to play the narrator. I'm moving around, beloved, so just bear with me. Okay. Hmm. Trying to bury the story of you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you see, it's a testament to what has already been. What you mean? What you mean? Well, you see, if you try to bury this history, you tried to bury history before. You've tried to make one look one way and the other another. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, calling that which is not as though it was, although you play as though it is when it is not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, lie and make the bad one good and the good one bad. We don't want to hurt nobody feelings, really. Out there doing treachery, lawless one. But you want to tell the story. Mm -hmm. So you don't hurt your itty bit feelings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And see, last time I checked, Yahoo is a God of truth. You can't shut him up. It ain't going to happen. How do you decide to try to bury something that he just brought out of the grave? How do we know? Mm, let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We down here in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 12. Therefore prophesy and say unto him, thus saith them, thus saith the Lord God, behold, O oh, my people, I, who? I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Yasharim. But you see, hmm, hmm, hmm. you got people that want to bury us with a lie. That's how you know who that we are from the tears, beloved. It's just on my spirit right now. I'm going to keep moving. I tried to put this out before. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm in book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 12. The night is nearly over. Come on now. It's word. There's word. There's word. Hear it. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Revelation. Exposure, beloved. Right when the Darkness wants to put the light out. Here comes the light of the most high. Why? Because they cannot narrate this story. He's the author and the finisher. Huh. Boy, listen, 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 listen. If they run in that far, want to make history a lie and all the world is seeing it. See, actually, when we talk about that foolish nation, <laughs> that foolish nation, all the world knows the truth and they know the history, but you want to turn around and do a CRT and tell the story of you and me, but you can't just see because the most high's word is the author and the finisher. Just saying. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness. What does that mean? You see, some people, when they're sitting in that garden with the wheat and the tares, and they start thinking themselves just like the tares because the influence is there. Let me tell you something. Even when you do wrong, and I'm not justifying it, I'm just addressing it, all right? Even when you do wrong, it doesn't stop wheat from being wheat and a tear from being a tear. Don't you ever let a tear tell you we are all the same. Everybody just, everybody, we just all the same. I don't think so. That's why you're a tear and they're wheat. There's a distinct difference. Now, the tear wants to narrate the story of the wheat. 
I don't think so. And in the end, here's that little revelation. I'm going to give it again. Just like in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. You see, they didn't take away the children of the Most High first. They took away those tares. In the time of Noah, they did it with water. But in the time of Yeshua HaMashiach, the angels of the Most High gathered them up and tossed them into the fire. Then they grabbed up the children of the Most High. And no matter what you have done, and I'm not justifying wrong, although I got my own sins, the Lord have mercy on me. Let the blood of the Lamb be upon us. Forgive us. Regenerate us through thy Holy Spirit. And bring us into the light. You're still wheat, beloved. You are not a tear. You are not. I want to conclude because all that I was going to say, I kept being stopped. I don't know. Maybe it was meant to be because I caught an attitude trying to get this out. I really, really did. I started getting the two, like, what, what? I'm like, Lord, are you trying to tell me something? Is it me? What in the world is going on? I'm trying to make this bigger. Yep, trying to make it bigger. I want it bigger. Okay. Cannot remove truth. Yeshua said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. You want to erase the realms of history you cannot. Mm -hmm. When we look at Psalms 119, we see, I've chosen a way of truth. That judgments have I laid before me. For the word of the Lord is right. All his works are done in truth. And finally, beloved, the lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked, mm, a tear, speaketh frowardness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, there was a lot more I wanted to say, but I'm going to assume this is what the spirit laid on me and it is enough. It is enough. I'm going to go where my father leads me cannot remove truth, beloved, cannot remove truth. I tried for a while to put this out, but I'm going to stop before something else stops me because it is done. Shabbat shalom, all honor, all praise unto the most high. If you do not know his word, we invite you of the house of Yasharel and those whom the Lord's spirit calleth to come in out of the dark into his beautiful light of truth, letting the word Yeshua HaMashiach of the Most High Yahuwah come upon you. Let his blood cleanse you and repent of your sins for none of us are without sin. And remember, you are wheat beloved don't let the tear lie to you don't let the enemy come in or his minions who the enemy being the father of lies and we see the lawless nation trying to perpetuate lies through narration no 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 mm -mm. we go going to the author and the finisher of our faith because we know you cannot remove truth and the truth is, you can be redeemed. Let the blood of the Lamb be upon you. Follow, believe, confess. He is the Son of the Most High Living God. Yes, He is. Yeshua HaMashiach, He died for our sins, rose from the grave after three days, and sits on the right hand of power, making an accession for us. Yes, He does. May He bless you and keep you, make His face to shine upon you, and in all your ways, give you peace, beloved. Give you peace. Shalom.